I'm renting my own flat. After living in house shares and my mum is very nice and helpful, but also the type to snoop through everything and move stuff around. She went to my place once to drop some furniture off for me and I left her the key while I was at work, thinking it was NBD. She would only be only there an hour maximum. Big mistake. I got back and she had been through every drawer moved everything around, including my bathroom drawers. She'd taken stuff like my razors and tampons out of her makeup bag, hidden at the back, and put it all out on the shelves. She also went through a bag of clothes that I hadn't unpacked yet due to not having the furniture and washed them all, even though they were clean and had important stuff wrapped inside them. This caused me lots of issues including said important stuff going missing and video games going through the washing machine. Yes I've posted about that part before. Anyway this was 6 weeks ago, and since then I haven't let her there alone, she kept asking me for a spare key and I've kept saying no. She seemed to understand. However I visited her today with my brother and she's bought me a new TV cabinet which is lovely. My brother said he could drop it off for me as he was heading back and lives that way and asked if I had a spare key. I said no. My mum then said I've got one I had one card that time I was at yours. Which was 6 weeks ago, and she's asked me for a spare key multiple times since then, and I've said a firm no every time. I asked why she had it, and she said it's in case I get locked out. But she never mentioned it to me, pretended she didn't have one by repeatedly asking me for one, and keeps it at her house, which is an hour's drive away from mine at least in a different town. I've made her to give it me, but I feel annoyed and violated, and it's with an agency so getting locks changed isn't an option. She doesn't understand why this is annoying. She says there's no more keys but that's not even the point really. Her intrusiveness is what is the problem. What on earth can I do? She's 68 but always been like this since we were kids. And not just to me. She went through my brother's ex-girlfriend's bag when she left it unattended. And she goes through people's drawers when at their houses. TLDR. My mum went to my flat to drop some furniture for, went through everything and has just, six weeks later, stated she had a key cut. I told her multiple times, since then I don't want her having a key. Even if it is an agency, if you tell them someone got hold of your key and made a copy of it without your consent, they should hopefully be able to help. Also wow I'm sorry she's like this. You could make a point in future of only meeting her out places and never back at yours. She will probably get offended, but it's her own fault if she can't respect your privacy. Yep it might cost some money, but it's money I'd spend to keep my privacy. First, get your locks changed as soon as possible. If she cut one key, she cut multiple. Second, get a doorbell camera installed so that you can track who shows up and when. I get that you're renting, but talk to your landlord about how to get these two things done and be willing to pay for them. Your mom should not have access to your private space without your knowledge. And finally, if you would ever need someone to look after your place, find a friend to do it instead of giving your mom a key again. She can't be trusted. If you can't get a doorbell camera installed, put a camera inside your door pointed at the door. Say my dear but can sit on a table or in a corner on the floor. Why can't you contact the agency? Might cost a fee, but they probably want you to be safe and not have random people have a key to their property. They probably will agree. Your key was stolen. If it's really impossible, then ask for professional advice and add another lock with a key she doesn't have. She's not going to listen. She thinks this is normal and you are the weird one for shutting her out. And at her age, she knows she has less power to push you around. So work around her, not with her. You do things I don't want. So I take other steps, if she whines. I'd rather pay a fee and feel less anxious than have someone snoop through my tampons. WTF is wrong with this lady? What happened when she went through the brother's XGF's purse? I can't imagine that not causing some issues when it happened. Sounds like mom has a problem with being nosy and invading people's privacy. Was this ever a discussion about her and her snooping problem? Is it a compulsion that she feels she can't control? And does she see nothing wrong with going through people's shit? My mother is exactly like this. If called out she will wail on about how ungrateful I am. She was just helping etc. She's banned from my house. 
I can't even trust her to use the bathroom without going into my bedroom to snoop. Do not ever hand her a key to your home. She has lost all privileges to your home when you aren't there. How entirely disrespectful. Your mom sounds toxic. Going through your stuff, especially at 30, is a huge violation. Having a key cut is even worse, but gaslighting you and pretending to want a key really puts the icing on the cake. That's just completely awful. Yeah. No kidding. It's so disrespectful of Opus. Mom is way overstepping here. Makes me feel so thankful for my boring, totally normal and unobtrusive parents. Can you talk to the agency, explain what happened, and offer to change the locks yourself? I also wouldn't let your mum into your flat, especially unsupervised. If she asks why, I would straight up tell her that you no longer feel comfortable, since she got a key cut without permission. I don't understand how the letting agency won't change the locks or let you do it at your expense. If your house got burglarized, and they took your keys, they would just shrug their shoulders and not care. As everyone says, speak to the landlord or letting agency about getting the lock changed and see how much that would cost. I know you said that's not an option, but check with them to see if it can be done, even at your cost. Not sure where you are, but if you are in the UK, there are locks that can be installed where it will not be possible to duplicate the keys without permission. Alternatively if they, the agency, won't rekey the locks. See if you can get permission for an additional lock to be added discreetly. Change locks. Inform landlord. Get cameras. Draw boundaries. Go low slash no contact with mom. Entire family if needed. Start grey rocking. Exactly what I was going to say. Op mom has absolutely no respect for her and won't change. She will not change. And it is obvious she will lie about it. You need to protect yourself exactly as if this were a stranger. You probably feel some kind of way about this, and that is a separate issue, but the actual need is just to take appropriate action in order to allay your worries. Your landlord will allow you to change the locks if you say you believe a key has been made. He can charge you a large fee so be prepared. A camera inside would be my choice as well. Lastly, you can tell your mom that her actions have made you uncomfortable and led to your distrust, but don't expect that to stop her future actions. It's pretty obvious that she either doesn't feel bad or can't stop herself. Change the locks and let your landlord know your mother isn't well mentally. They should never let her into your place. Nor should they give her any information on you. She will try to sob story her way back into your place. She does understand why it's annoying or she wouldn't have kept that she had a copy made from you while incessantly asking for a copy to legitimize what she already did. Follow the other advice here of changing the locks and not allowing her to visit or have unsupervised access to your purse so she doesn't have another opportunity to do the same. If she asks why you're treating her that way, tell her she knows why and leave it at that. Don't allow her to bait you into eroding your boundaries just to get her to back off. She's not going to back off. If they're euro cylinder locks, it's easy to just switch out the barrel, literally a 5 minute job, and the only tool you need is a screwdriver. Keep the old barrel, to switch it back when you leave. If you have a decent relationship with the agency slash landlord, give them a copy of the new key. If not, don't. I've changed locks as a renter twice, and both times my landlord was happy to give me retrospective permission. The first time I was pretty sure my keys were stolen by a creepy neighbor while I was in the building's gym, and the second time, different flat, the lock fell apart in my hands. In general people are reasonable about lock changing, you might not know that, because you've clearly been brought up by an unreasonable person, but most people aren't like her. Only thing I'd add here is that in most situations, you must give a copy of the new key to the landlord slash management company to be able to enter in case of an emergency. If there's an emergency, like a leak in your unit, and they can't get in, oftentimes you will be responsible for damages. Yikes. Change that lock. It is a good idea to have a spare, but you can find a friend with decent boundaries to hold on to that. Change your locks. She likely had more than one maid. What on earth can I do? Change the locks and tell her she's never getting a key to your place ever again because you can't trust her. Also, the next time you go to her house start going through her things and being rude. 
when she complains, tell her you thought it was okay, since she does it to you. Thank you. I'll get them changed, and tell landlord my key's been taken. When we were last on holiday my cool aunt was with us, and she saw my mum going through my suitcase, and putting my clothes out on the bed in order of outfits, which she always did, including underwear etc. In youth I normally got a lock, but it had been 5 years and there was lots of us going, so I thought she wouldn't do it now. My aunt thought it was insane, so she went through my mum's suitcase, and did the same. Even marking them as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on paper. My mom went nuts. So she knows it isn't okay. It's like she's trying to establish control. Did you write about this a couple of weeks ago? There was one very similar to this recently. Change your locks and start to go low contact with your mom. First, get the lock changed. Second, look at yourself. You need to get it through your head that you can't trust your mom to not do stuff like this. I get the feeling she has a Luan history of pulling stunts like this. You need to start taking responsibility for your relationship with her if you want these situations to stop. Get therapy if you need it. Look at Op's post history. Mom pulls some absolutely awful shit and Op complains and then the cycle repeats. NTA, go to your landlord and have the locks changed. He may charge you a fee, pay the fee, but then she doesn't have access to the apartment. Something I haven't seen mentioned here is that making copies of the keys may be a violation of your lease so, while you should definitely inquire about having the locks changed now, she could have got you into big trouble. Tell her outright that her behavior is creepy, rude, violating, and that you are disgusted by her actions. Get the locks changed, get a camera, move as soon as you can and don't give her the new address. Mom, I know it's hard to change when you're old and you've been crazy all your life but you're 68. You are going to need me going forward and I do not need you. So maybe shape up now because you ain't the boss and I will totally walk away from your old ass. Some people have to be told. Nope, Op shouldn't bother. Mother won't change. She has been this way all of Op's life. This is a very concerning lack of boundaries. What she did was unacceptable. I would just change the locks. Problem solved. She lost the right to be alone in your house from that little adventure she pulled. Return the gift. Tell her it's unwanted because of her previous violations of privacy. Demand the key back tell her you know I have to incur the cost of getting locks changed and she will be billed. Tell her you have informed your landlord that she is mentally unwell and unstable and not allowed on the property for any reason ever. Be very clear with her you now know that she lied to you intentionally and she can no longer be trusted as a mother a grandmother or a person. Because of that lie it's clear to you that she's putting herself above her family. Let her know the next violation will be no contact and a police order to stay away. Yay my mom does this too and doesn't get why it's bad. Yep, I'd get her the lock changed and don't mention it to her. Don't give her a key for any reason. If she realizes her key doesn't work one of these days, that's when you can tell her the lick was changed and you're not supposed to give anyone your key. You can also just tell her that you don't want her or anyone going into your place when you're not home for any reason and leave it at that. These nice things she's buying and dropping off are serving a dual purpose for her. She gets to manage your household as if it's hers. Maybe she feels entitled and helpful. Regardless, it's a hassle for you so keep her out. She only comes in if you're home. That may be a hassle for you too, but it'll keep this weirdness from happening again. Tell your landlord you do not feel safe as you have reason to believe someone has a key. Tell him you'd like to get the lock rekeyed and you'll give them a copy. Or they can do it and you'll pay for it. You do not need to replace the whole lock. Usually they can just reset the key. It's called rekeying. You don't need to confront your mother. You already know she's doing this. The point is to stop her and do not leave your key laying around. If she asks tell her no. Ah, I see we have the same mother. I like to say she puts the mother in smother. She does not acknowledge that you have or are entitled to boundaries and is offended slash hurt if you try to enforce them at all. I'm sorry. I don't know how to deal with mine always either, so I don't have advice so much as commiseration. You're allowed to feel violated and be annoyed about this. You deserve your privacy and personal space as an adult. 
I'm sorry you're going through this too. What kind of things does your mother do? I have to keep friendship slash relationship secret from mine. Otherwise she embarrasses me massively by revealing things to them. Asking me questions about underwear or my personal health. It's fine. And pointing out when I had a spot etc. I think you should break into her house and pull a Charlie Manson, do a creepy crawl, and rearrange all her furniture. Get the locks changed or e-keyed. Also cameras to monitor the doorway. Outside if possible, inside if not, 